Hey now, metalheads, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And today, what I would like to talk about are metalhead vocabulary terms. In our own little special genre of music, we have certain terms that we use on a regular basis, and in some cases we even share terms with other genres of music. So I think maybe we should change some of these up, you know, move them in different directions, and separate us from everybody else. So that's what we're doing today. We are changing metalhead vocabulary terms. The prime example of this would be the term concert. Now, regardless of what type of music you like, be it country, rap, rock, or metal, we all go to concerts. It's an umbrella term used to describe this specific event. But as metalheads, we are all aware that our experience is a little different than everybody else's. So I suggest we uh, rename a metal concert as, say, Gathering of the Black T-Shirts, or a long, greasy-haired get-together. And what about festivals? Once again, the word festival encompasses all types of music festivals, but metal festivals are different than everybody else's. So I suggest we change it to a denim vest convention. Now on that same note, what about the term mosh pit? In theory, a mosh pit can break out at any type of concert or festival there is. Granted, punk shows, rock shows, and metal shows are really what it's all about. But for metalheads, it really is a special experience for us. It's not just about slamming into people, it's about bonding with your fellow metalhead. So I suggest we rename it to Man on Man Cuddle Time. Now for all the ladies out there watching, I don't want you to think I've forgotten about you, because I haven't. And I am well aware that your experience listening to heavy metal is much different than me, a man, listening to heavy metal. And with that being said, I have come up with a very good term for your experience. Like, say, listening to typo negative. I suggest we change that to cheap therapy for women with daddy issues. Now, before anyone gets all up in arms and calls me a sexist for that last comment, I should say that there is a near-identical criticism and joke that can be made about male metalheads. And the band associated with that is Amon Amarth. So that's why I suggest we change the term listening to Amon Amarth to a metalhead personality starter kit. And I am not joking because I am one of those people. I legitimately have a Mjolnir tattoo appointment for the end of the month. Now, I would be a fool to overlook the concept of battle vests. Now, I'm well aware that the idea of a battle vest is already essentially uniquely metal. Even though Punk does have their own vest, but it's not a battle vest, it's their own little thing. But for metalheads, we all love making them. They look cool, it takes a lot of time and effort to put them together. We love showing them off. You guys know I do, and I know plenty of you guys do too. But with that being said, Battle vests are incredibly expensive and time-consuming, so that's why I suggest we change the term making a battle vest to a different type of needle addiction. Now, what about mainstream popular metal bands that transcend the world of heavy metal? I think the perfect example of that would be Metallica. There are so many people who like Metallica, and many of them wouldn't really consider themselves metalheads. I remember when I was younger, those Guitar Hero games started coming out, and Metallica blew up for a whole new generation. A lot of those people grew up to start really liking heavy metal, but a lot of them didn't. They just really liked the song Enter Sandman. But for metalheads, their gateway to heavy metal was Metallica. The problem is, a lot of them realized that the first handful of Metallica albums were really, really good, and then it just went downhill from there. So with that being said, I think we should acknowledge that when someone starts listening to Metallica and gets into heavy metal because of it, it really is just a gateway drug to Slayer. We all know the works of J.R.R. Tolkien has been inspiring creators for generations. Be them writers, movie makers, video game developers, and of course, metal musicians. But let's call a spade a spade here, because once metalheads get into the works of Tolkien, it really just becomes a black metal name generator. So those are all of the changed metalhead vocabulary terms I have for now. And my opinion may be a little biased, but I thought they were all pretty darn good, and they should be spread throughout the world until they become a common use.
And with that being said, I want to get your guys' opinion on all of this. Are there any other metalhead vocabulary terms that you think should be changed or tweaked? If so, leave them down in the comments. I know I would love to read them, and I'm sure plenty of other metalheads would like to read them as well. And now, like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or an album warning. And today is another recommendation. The band is Kavan. The album is The Great Below. Now, I got this album quite some time ago from the Metalhead Box, I want to say well over a year ago, and ever since I got it, I've been listening to it on a near regular basis. And the reason is, this album is a total masterpiece. There is literally not a bad song on this entire album. I am so glad I found out about these guys, because their music is amazing. Uh, the easiest way to describe their music is just to say it's black metal, but when you sit down and listen to it, it's, it's more than that, and I, I can't really describe it. You just have to listen to it for yourself and make up your own mind. Um, I usually say what my favorite tracks are, but I, I cannot pick my favorite track because every single one of them is amazing. So I grab this album, uh, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you listen to it, Kavayan the Great Below, check it out, you will not regret it. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video, checking out some of my past videos and sharing them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you'd like to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have patches for sale, so if you would like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay brutal.